Hello Gun Nation, Big Johnson coming at you. All right, we have the Staccato C2 Duo and we have the Staccato P Duo Alloy. And as you can see, they're upfitted pretty much exactly the same, except this one has the uh, Threat Cadre Comp. This one does not have the Comp. This one did come with a threaded barrel. This one has the SRO. This one has the Hollow Sun 508T Green. They both have Surefires. This is a B model where you screw it on. This is an A model where it actually snaps on with the little levers here. Now I've had a lot of questions about can you carry these? They're too heavy, you know, they're too big, they're too bulky. I've had all of these questions. So I wanted to break it down for you so you could kind of understand a little easier. Hopefully this will help some people and know the differences between the two. And I'm also going to compare it to an a basic Glock 19 that has no RMR and has no comp or red dot and no light so you can kind of check weights now on a Glock 19 unloaded with no dot and no light the weight is 24.83 ounces I actually pulled that from Glock's website because my Glock 19X is not stock and I don't want to pull everything off of it to weigh it so that's it 24.83 ounces that's not very heavy on the staccato c2 duo it is alloy okay so without the dot and without the light the weight on it unloaded is 25 ounces that's it <laughs> so you know and this is a 16 plus one and on your glock 19 you know it's a 15 plus one so there you go but a lot of people think that it's super heavy or that they're really bulky and this honestly is really about the size of a Glock 19 so I will tell you this you've got a little more distance right here on the grip the Glock 19 is too short for my hand this actually fits it very well and I'll show you that here in just a second but just wanted to kind of give you some weights so as you see this Staccato C2 right now with the Hollow Sun 508T and again the Surefire, the weight on this unloaded is only 33.2 ounces. So if you took a Glock 19 and you put this dot on it and you put this light on it, you're still right at about, you know, <laughs> it's going to be about 33 ounces. So you're still pretty damn close. Because again, a stock Glock 19 with nothing on it, unloaded is 24.83. When I weighed these as you see them, with the light, the hollow sun, everything on it, it's 33.2 ounces. Now, let's step over to the Staccato P, uh, or excuse me, the Staccato P Duo alloy. It's not the steel, it's alloy. So as you see this one with the comp, the threaded barrel, the Surefire, the SRO, everything that you see right here, it's 36.3 ounces. That's not bad at all <laughs> for everything you see right here, 36.3 ounces. So as you see, these are set up pretty much identical. However, this one does not have a threaded barrel yet or a comp yet. So these are pretty much the way they are. So the difference between the P and the C2 is only 3.1 ounces. They're both alloy. And this one has a comp, so it's different than that. This one has a threaded barrel, so it's different from that. Of course, it's longer and it's got the bigger grip. So it's a lot bigger gun. And there's only a 3.1 ounce difference. Exactly the way you see both of them set up now. <laughs> it's pretty unbelievable. If this were a steel gun, I think you can add another four ounces, I think. So, you know, you're talking, gosh, 7.1 ounce difference maybe. I think it's four ounces. It could be five on the steel. But that's why I really wanted the alloy because when I add all these other things, it's still only 36.3 ounces, which is pretty unbelievable. Also, these are the lock pistol grips. This one's the all brass. 
This one is the alloy overlay. You can't get the overlay. That's a special edition they did for me. But if you're interested in these pistol stands, you can get them through Lock Grips. I will leave a link below, and you can use my discount code. It's all capitalized BJGG10. So BJGG10 will save you 10% off any grips that you're needing for your 1911s, CZs, any of that stuff, or these badass pistol stands. The brass one is super heavy, but there you go. And they've got them in G10, they've got them in aluminum, raw, different colors, whatever you want. But that'll save you some money if you're interested. Of course, you add, you know, the loaded mags to it and things like that. You're going to add more weight. But what I'm saying, can these be carried? Yes, they can. Here's how they're carried. This right here is the Tenacore, and it's the Malice Soul. So, and this is for the 1911-2011 X300. That's why I have X300s on both of these. Now, just so you know, they make the P model, and they also make the 5-inch model of this Tenacore. I have the P model, and I have the... Um, the 5 inch so this one's the 5 inch I just want to show you something here real quick so we'll take this off when you take these off the stands you actually have to push the button because they're held on there you can lift up the stands if you push your mag release button it will release it so you can actually hold it let me show you that grip that I was talking about so on a 19 a clock 19 the grips are too small for my hands I've got rather large hands but this one right here fits me perfectly so it's right there at that lip and this lip adds a little extra right there you know kind of cups it under there so if I put a magwell on here it could be a little tight I haven't tried a magwell on here yet probably will just to try it but you know I'm right there on it so I like the grip here on this one these are both unloaded so don't worry about that now on the tenacore it actually comes with let me explain this real quick it actually comes with two clips and they're both discrete carry concept clips these are the steel clips these are the only clips I'll use I don't like the one and a half clips that it comes with so this is a 175 and I've actually altered this one so I can only use one clip or I only have to use one clip there's your uh, there is your wedge or excuse me your uh, claw and then of course it has the built-in wedge but I still need to alter this a little bit but I've used my regular discrete carry clip it will actually fit on here with their holes their clips have offset diagonal holes but you can retro it and just use a regular DCC clip on here if you choose to but we'll go ahead and put it in here and I'll show you well let me put the safety on So you slide it down in there, actually hold your safety, you've got that. Here's what it looks like from this side and I'm not muzzling myself. So there's where the light bottoms out and you can see the gun in there. So that is your C2 inside there. It will work in the five inch just fine. Also I have the P model. I only ordered the P model for the C2. I don't, I don't even know if they make one for the C2, but I like a little extra length on your holster. What you're going to get is when you have the extra length, it's going to, if it's a shorter one, it can cause it to tilt more. This actually helps wedge up against your body, this extra length, to keep it straight so you don't get that tilt outward. So the, the uh, Staccato C2 with the light fits in there great. Show you again. Keeps your safety up, all that good stuff, and here's what you're looking at. I'm on the other side of the camera, so I'm not muzzling myself. That's the C2. We'll put that back on here. In order to put it on, you have to push the button and it locks on there. So let's take this one off. Same thing, you have to push the button. Okay, so here we have the comp. So this is a P with a comp. I want to show you something. Total length of this one is 5.2 inches. So this is a 5 inch holster. Now we'll set it up the same way. It's unloaded, of course. Set the safety. Slide it in here. Here's what you're looking at. That's your difference. There's your light, and the comp sticks out that far because that's the point two that sticks out. Five inch holster, you're gonna get the comp sticking out if you run a comp. If you have no comp, it's gonna be farther up inside there, of course, as you can imagine. And I've got uh, five inch 
uh, 1911s that I run in here. So, and it will actually bottom out, you know, right here so it doesn't stick out. But if you run the comp, the Threat Cadre comp, it will actually stick out this much, just so you know. Now, does that hurt you? No. Because I'm going to do an alteration on here and add a little piece of wedge here to where it pushes this away and this will not touch. It really doesn't touch now like my pelvic area, I guess we'll call it that. Really doesn't touch now, but if I were to, you know, do holster draws and shoot, and put this back in, this is going to get kind of warm. <laughs> so, I don't need any don't need my uh, nuggets burned. So, anyway, we're going to put a little piece of pad here and uh, get that fixed up. But I have carried it in this, the P. This is the way it carries. All that good stuff. But I've had a lot of questions about this. How do you carry these big-ass guns? Oh, my gosh. They're so heavy. They're so big. They're so this. They're so not. Well, when you really look at it, they're not. This one, like I said, if you did the same thing to a Glock, put you an RMR or whatever on there and a Surefire, you're going to be the same damn weight, basically, of this gun, of the C2. And I haven't checked a Glock 34 or any of that stuff, but I'm sure it's going to be similar, you know, once you add everything to it. You know, if you did a Roland Special Glock like I have, I just didn't want to unload it and do all that other stuff. We'll do that later on. Because I do have a Roland Special Glock 19X, and it does have the threaded barrel with a comp, I run the Surefire, and it does have a uh, hollow sun on it. So if you want to see that comparison, let me know down below in the comments. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. You know, if you want to see another gun compared to another gun, let me know. Uh, just another question I get, a lot of people ask, why do I like Staccatos? Of course, they're a Texas company. I grew up on 1911s, really took a liking to these and very very happy with these purchases so if you're on the fence about getting a staccato i would highly recommend it i really enjoy these i've been carrying this one dedicated every day pretty much except sometimes on weekends if i want to alter or change a gun i will i've been carrying the c2 now for about gosh seven or eight months straight in multiple holsters running it testing it really do like it also run it with the tlr 7a the streamlight really like that setup. I have changed both of the triggers in here. Um, these are the bow bar or whatever from Atlas Gunworks and um, I love the flat triggers personally. And these are the mediums because my fingers are so damn long so it does extend the reach for me which helps. The curved trigger actually makes my finger closer and makes my knuckle stick out farther. So that's why I prefer the flat triggers. Not that there's anything wrong with the staccato triggers, I'm just a flat trigger guy. So I appreciate it. If y'all have any questions or concerns, let me know. Please like, share, and subscribe. And remember, an unarmed nation is a very weak nation, so we all got to carry on.